Hello, let's learn with Miss Gunjan. Today, we are going to learn word problem and this word problem that we see here is good for kindergarten and grade one. I have broken down the word problem into simpler way so that you can teach your child easily. But still, word problem always poses some sort of challenge to the kids because they are not used to this. They know numbers, how to add the numbers, how to take away the numbers, but they don't know how to pick up the numbers from the story. What problem is basically a storytelling. So let's see. It's easy when your child sees two plus two. They will immediately give you the answer. Four. But when we use the same thing in words, it becomes little challenging. Two and two more. Now we need to understand this and we need to read two. So two is again two. This two is also this, but why, where is this plus sign? Where is it? So then you have to tell that more. When you see more means you are adding, you are giving more on that. And that's how this more is the plus. Becomes more easy if you use the word problem in your daily life. Like if you have to ask something, Suppose I have some tiles over here. You can have cushions, you can have pens, pencils, anything that you have that your child connects with. Now you can say, give me two tiles. So here is two tiles while which your child will give you. Then you can say, give me two more tiles, two more, two more tiles. So here we have another two more tiles now how many tiles do you have together how many tiles that's a question to ask now so they'll say one two three four and you will get the answer for you see how in a simpler way you are using the word problem with your daily activities to explain like more add on together the word problem will become fairly easy for them but problem is a story and how we decode this story is the whole idea behind word problem so when we see this clutter of words first what we have to do we have to read it there are six birds on the tree two more birds landed on the tree how many birds are on the tree? So your child should be able to know the meaning of each word first. We are going to use two steps to solve this problem. First is elimination and identification. So what are we going to eliminate here? Because we have a clutter of words here. We don't need these words. So how to find or identify which are to eliminate. So it's always easy when we first identify the important ones. So what are the important things here? We see six is a number on the tree. Two more. Two more is important here. How many birds are on the tree? And this is how many next we are going to eliminate now we don't care whether it's a bird it's a bug it's a butterfly it can be anything we also don't care if it's a tree or it's a pole it's a house so now we are just cutting down left with few and what are the few here the six six and two more your child already knows more means add so six 
plus 2 equal 8. Now we have solved this but we should not just stop here. We have to check it whether this what we have done is correct or not. That's always a good practice to follow. So let's see 4, 5 and 6. Now how many more we need here? 2. So 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So means our answer is correct and now we have checked it. We have another set of questions. Pat saw four butterflies. Sam saw three butterflies. How many butterflies did they see together? But what is important in this story is the number four that we are going to identify and number three and the word together here. Together means always show with the accent. Together means coming closer, becoming one. Together, apart, moving away. Together, coming close, becoming one. So now and also we have to eliminate. It can be Pat, it can be Matt, it can be Sam, Pam, butterflies, can be flowers, anything. So these things doesn't matter. What matters here is four and three and together which tells us what this question is asking us to do. So four together means plus three makes seven. Let's check it out. Four. Now here is three. Is the seven? Yes, four, five, six, seven. So we have checked our answer and we got it correct. So now what do we understand from here? In word problem, we have to identify and we have to eliminate. These are the two simple process that we are going to see whenever we get a word problem as it simplifies our word problem and make it more easy and meaningful. Or if we want a worksheet for word problem for kindergarten and grade one, then, all, then do leave a comment and I will attach a PDF for the word problem. See you. Bye.